Hello, you guys. Welcome to Kingdom Living Way. Hope all is doing well today. I want to come on to give you guys a word the Lord had given me to share with you guys. And the subject that I'm going to be talking about is the crutch of a man. The crutch of a man. And this man is just not like a man as of a male, but it's mankind. It's regarding mankind. How I came across this word was uh, God had spoke to my spirit some years ago. And he said, the crutch of a man is in his heart. The crutch of a man is is in his heart. And I I you know I document that in my in my journal and years later a few months ago he brought this word back to me again. He said the crutch of a man is in his heart. Mm, 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 mm. The crutch of a man is in his heart. Ooh. Spirit, spiritually speaking, is what I'm going to do here. I'm going to speak from a spiritually uh, aspect. And I will share with you some natural similarities, examples relating to the heart. And also using crutch for a different view from a natural standpoint and also from a uh, spiritual standpoint. So where is this this uh, crutch is? Where is this crutch? God said the crutch is in, is in the heart of man. Mm, mm, mm. The crutch is in the heart of man. So I looked up the definition crutch. And it says, a naturally long stick with a cross piece at the top it is used to support under the armpit by a person with an injury or disability mm, mm, mm. i'm gonna say it again it's a naturally long stick with a cross piece at the top used to support under the armpits by a person with an injury or disability. This is the kind of this is the uh, crutch that you go on that you put under your arm type crutch. Um, also, I looked up injury. Injury meaning ones who've been wounded, bruised, traumatized, or have a cut. See, to me, what I got from wounded is in relationship to um, our personal injuries. Uh, for us, scars can represent wounds, scars from broken relationship. Mm -hmm. Bruised egos, traumatized. When someone lost a loved one or you've been... Um, you lost out in a failed relationship. You've been traumatized. Traumatized can be of some um, bad news that you receive and it traumatizes you. Some people never come out of that traumatization, as I call it, because they, they, they was, it, it, it affected them so much that they're, they're still uh, experiencing some difficulties, functioning like they should mentally, because they've been traumatized. Mm, mm, mm. And to cut, meaning deep wounds. How, how many of us have some deep wounds? My God, my God. So the second definition of injury that I wrote down was damage to a person's feelings, which is regarding connect. You can see the connection in with the first definition. Offense, wrongdoing, 
insult a slap in the face. I normally use that a lot, a slap in the face. Hey, that was a slap, to, slap in the face to me, you know. Um, and I just like to say a slap in the face. So, I did more research regarding disability. So, I talked about a crutches regarding a person who's dependent dependent on um crutch for as um an area in their life where they um it's more like a prop i put it like this is a prop um and that a person used for an injury or for a disability okay we got that straight so the disability is a physically or mentally conditioned that limits a person's movement, senses, or activity. A disorder, or is it a condition? Mm. And see, that's in the natural. But I'm taking this thing to the spirit, to a spiritual uh, perspective. Now, the heart, dealing with the heart. Okay, as he said, a man crutch is in his heart. Mm, mm, mm. The heart, the heart is the seat of the intellect. Mm -hmm. The heart is considered a source of emotions, desires, and wisdom, which connects to your um, intelligence. Mm -hmm. Now with emotions, see joy is an emotion of the heart. When we experience joy, it nourish us. It nourish the heart. Not only does milk does the body good, but also joy does the body good. As well as joy does the heart good. Mm -hmm. An example here, um, you know, when someone wants some advice from us, they will come and say, um, what could you tell me about this or that? What should I do about this or that? You know, this uh, particular situation. Um, and, you know, I oftentimes will say, do what's good for you. Mm -hmm. What's good for your heart? I used to hear that all the time. What's, what makes your heart feel good? What's good for your heart? Does this thing or does this person bring joy to your heart? See, the health of your heart is at risk. That's why people say, follow your heart. Do what's best for your heart. Mm, 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 mm. In Proverbs, the fourth chapter tells us, guard your heart. For out of it flows the issue of life. Guard your heart. Mm, 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 mm. Woo. Sometimes it's hard to guard your heart like you need to because you get your feelings and emotions all tangled up. And sometimes your, your body saying one thing, but your heart saying another. And you get weak, you go with your body instead of your heart. Or you go with the heart instead of your mind. Because <laughs> your mind can tell you, no, no, you don't need this. But your body say, oh, yes, you do. See, so... We got to think about the long-term effects of our heart. Is this good? Is this relationship good for your heart? Is it going to put a bunch of stress on you? Is it, is it going to drain you? Or is it draining you now? Is it good for your heart? Mm, 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 mm. Woo, the matters of the heart. My God, my God. There's been said that there's a connection between the heart health and the stomach. A connection between the heart health and the stomach. See, bad news can can cause um, uh, you to feel nausea sometimes. Um, you feel sick on the stomach, like for us a faint. You feel like you want to faint. Some people they uh, they vomit. Um, I believe all that transpires from the um, the sensitivity or and the connection with the heart and the stomach. See, 
when you hear bad news, it, it disturbs your stomach. Mm, 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 mm. It disturbs the way you feel on the inside. See, and, and as well, when you hear good news, what it does, it brings joy to you. Some people say, ooh, I got butterflies. I'm feeling, you know, I feel some type of way in my stomach. It's a good feeling. See, that's a type of connection. Mm, 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 mm. Ooh, my God, my God. See, bad news can cause your stomach to be all out of whack. Ooh, what do that tell you? Why does it hit my stomach? Mm, 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 mm. See, that's a connection. See, a gastroenterologist assistant mentioned to me one time how there's a number of new patients that they have uh, took on this, uh, no, not this year, in the last few years since the pandemic. They believe there's been a large increase. There's been a large increase in, in new patients. And they believe it's because of the stress uh, that everyone has been under uh, during the pandemic. Uh, many has been enduring a whole lot of stress, a whole lot of worries and, you know, worrations and things like that. They've been experiencing sickness and diseases. They've been experiencing losses, losses of loved ones. They've been, um, you know, worrying about how they're going to pay their bills and all this is added stress to the body. And like I said earlier, what is it doing to the stomach? Mm -hmm. mm, 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 mm. See the heart, you feel it some type of way, your heart, your burden, your way, you weighing down, it affects your stomach. Mm, 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 mm. My God, my God, my God. So what causes a, what, Cause man need for crutches. What is a man need for crutches? In Proverbs, the 13th chapter, it tells us hope deferred makes the heart sick. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. Whew. It brings your doubts and belief to the surface. Mm -mm -mm. It brings your doubts and beliefs to the surface. That's what hope deferred does. Mm, 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 mm. But when the desires cometh, it is a tree of life. Woo! When the desire cometh, it is a tree of life. Mm, mm, mm. See, deferred mean to put off an action or event to a later time. To postpone a delay. Mm. It's a delay. But I speak right now. No more delays. Mm. In the name of Jesus. No more delays. My God, my God, my God. That which you've been hoping and believing God for. Shall manifest. In the mighty name of Jesus. No more delays. My God, my God. The heart shall be healed, no longer sit mm -mm. in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree. See, man disabilities and injuries is within the heart. Mm -hmm. It's in the heart. That's where it's seated at, in the heart. Mm. So if something is seated, it have taken a place there. It is resting. Because see, when they say you take a seat, you take a rest. So it's resting inside the heart of man. Mm, 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 mm. See, what is causing you to walk with that limp? Mm -hmm. Or with a limp? I ain't going to say that because it's like you're claiming it. So I'm going to say, what caused you to walk with a limp? What What is causing your posture to slump? Mm -hmm. What is causing you to take short steps. Mm, 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 mm. See, when the heart is weighted, so are you. Mm, 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 mm. See, what issue is required for you to have a, a crutch? Mm -hmm. What are the issues required? 
you to have a crutch. Why is you walking with a limp? Mm, 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 mm. Why is there a slump? Mm, 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 mm. Why are you barely getting around? Whew. Why are you slowly walking when you normally are moving fast? Mm, mm, mm. Why do you have a frown on your face? Mm. There's something within the heart. There's something going on in the heart. It's in the past. And it's things that's going on in the present. Mm -mm -mm. Things in the area of your family and your friends, your church, your neighbors, relationship, partnerships, co-workers, supervisors. My God, my God. Is this crutch seated in the heart regarding brokenness, the pain and the grief and the unforgiveness? Is it sin? See, when the heart has issue, it affects your whole body. Mm -hmm. See, naturally, naturally, the heart pumps the blood in your body. Mm -hmm. It keeps the blood flowing. Mm -hmm. Now, see, one thing about the blood, there's oxygen in the blood. Mm -hmm. And within the blood, there's life in the blood. Mm, 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 mm. So, whew, if there's life in the blood, then in order for the life to be in the blood, the, the heart have to function correctly to circulate the blood for the life to continue. Whew. My God, my God. I do believe that the heavy load that we are carrying are first from the heart. It spiritually is hidden within the man, but will manifest naturally, which is openly seen. See, the manifestation is when it's seen. But at first, it resides in the heart of man within. But the manifestation will be seen openly. Mm, mm, mm. You can look at a person and tell something is going on in their heart. The way they talk, what they're saying, you can tell that's a heart issue. Mm, mm, mm. I'm talking spiritually now. So, and symbolically. So, it's uh, Proverbs 15 tells us out of the abundance of the mouth, out of, uh, sorry, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speak. So, what are you speaking out of your heart? Mm -hmm. What are you speaking from your heart out of your mouth? Mm. The mouth speaks what the heart is full of. Mm, 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 mm. My God, they always say you want to know how somebody feel about you? When they're intoxicated, they tell you everything. Everything they feel about you. See, it's coming out of their heart. Mm, mm, mm. See, King David's heart was heavy. Mm -hmm. He was heavy at heart. Why was he heavy at heart? Because at this particular time in his life, he was not proud of what he had done. He was not proud of the things he had done in the position of a king. Mm -hmm. And God was not pleased with him. My God. So he went to God for forgiveness. We find in Psalms 51, start at verse 10. I'm just going to read a, a, a few verses here, but you can continue on with it. David was feeling very sorrowful. He said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew the right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, my God, my God, and take not 
the Holy Spirit away from me. My God, my God, my God. Those that have the Holy Spirit, you do not want to lose the Holy Spirit. It's very valuable. David was telling us right there, don't take your spirit away from me. Mm, mm, mm. No one wants to lose the spirit of God. Mm, 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 mm. You tell me I'm feeling lonely, huh? The lonely you think you might feel sometime, you know, you be lonely. Then, you know, one minute you're long, lonely, next minute, you know how kingdom is kingdom couples are. You're waiting for your spouse. One minute you're lonely, next minute you're okay. But who? No one wants to feel that continuously. Because there's no loneliness like when God is distant from you. I never experienced a complete distance. I felt a little bit at one time because I had pulled away because of distraction. But to have him completely away, oh my God, I can't even imagine. Mm. I'm going to close right now. I just want to, um, I pray, say a prayer for you guys. And um, I really had to get this out to the kingdom couples, you know. Um, because it's it's important that everyone hear this message, whether you're kingdom couples or not. But I had to make sure I specifically send this out to the kingdom couples. Amen. But I pray that you will look into your heart. Mm. And as you look into your heart, I pray that God will touch your heart. Lord, I pray that you would touch the hearts of your people, God. And that you heal all the things within them that has caused them injuries or disabilities, Father. Spiritually and naturally, God. Go in, Father. Do a deep work within your people so that they can gain the right speed and momentum to operate effectively within their assignments, Lord. You've chosen for them a mighty, mighty great word. And as they go wholehearted and fulfill, as they go wholeheartedly and full, in fulfilling what you have called them to do, God. I declare and decree no more delays, no more setbacks, and no more kickbacks. My God, my God. For now is the time to move freely with a healthy heart, God. Woo! Because the condition of each of our hearts matter to you, God. Our hearts matter to God. He desires a healthy heart for each of us. And I pray that your heart become healthy in Jesus' name. Where it don't need any kind of props. That the crutches be removed in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we thank you now for this word. I thank you guys for coming on. And I want you to be blessed. I love you. Until next time.